Hi guys, welcome back to Hunger Geeks. I'm Ethan Digisman. Last time we check out the dual screen laptop, which is the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. This time it's actually the smaller brother, which is the the Asus ZenBook Duo without the Pro. So to give you an um, overall specifications that actually the ZenBook Pro Duo has is actually the that one has a more powerful RTX graphics. A 15 inch display, a gorgeous 4K OLED display, but of course the price is a little bit ridiculous. This time we have the smaller brother and 14 inch ZenBook Duo, which is just a 14 inch with still the same 12.6 inch screen pad plus display. So this is just back to LCD and it's really more for professionals that's looking for a laptop for less than 100,000 pesos. And that can actually do more so I'll give you a quick rundown of what the overall specifications this one is actually an Intel Core i7 10th generation processor already 16 gigabytes of RAM included as well in the package is one terabyte of SSD storage that's actually PCIe times 4 already it has an MX 250 2 gigabytes of VRAM as well and it's just simply a 14 inch laptop with a little bit more beefier in the specifications. I know you're asking right now, the graphics isn't really that uh, spectacular. But hear me out guys, I'll quickly, I'll quickly explain right now why you have to reconsider this laptop even though the graphics isn't really those GTX RTX gra class graphics because it's actually a lifesaver and as what I told you before with the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo it's actually having the secondary screen or the screen pad plus the journey of exploring your multitasking capabilities is the wonder of everything. So right now as you can see this is the screen pad plus plus the main display on top we have the chrome browser in full display it's showing the full website for the Asus ZenBook Duo here is another chrome tab where it's also a touch screen I can activate here like for example YouTube and then here will be Spotify so I can also activate music if I want to play so it's quite easy so here is just one scenario that you can use with the ScreenPad Plus and just to give you an overall insight as well, I can quickly invert these two applications to the other screen and vice versa with a push of one single button. So actually Asus was really able to talk, uh, think of everything about the ScreenPad Plus and how to multitask. Aside from that, we also have here the toggle, an overlay skin for the ZenBook Duo or even the ScreenPad Plus where you can maximize multitasking in terms of switching applications, you multitasking in other applications such as how many applications are here, how many applications are here as well. So unlike with the ScreenPad 2.0 with just a small trackpad, you can actually do a lot more here on the ScreenPad Plus. I'll give you a scenario right now. So I have Chromecast activated here to open articles and write articles in Hungry Geeks. At the same time as like for example you want to check out press releases on the secondary screen at the right side. You can also activate Excel Sheets here or there's also one mode where you can actually just quickly toggle the window and there will be guide markers on the overall application or on top of the bar to guide you where if you want to full screen it or just open in one corner so you can actually open three applications in total in just the screen pad plus alone so it gives you a great power of multitasking in terms of overall usage scenario for your multitasking purposes so what I like more about this one is that they were able to think of a lot of scenarios so as you can see here, you have Spotify, YouTube, and then Excel here. And then you can also write articles from the top. So I, what I'm doing right now are scenarios such as you can navigate files here, play some videos or music at the same time, doing your primary work at the main display. So guys, it's really a big advantage right now if you have a secondary display. At, at work right now, what I'm doing is before I have my hook 
uh, extended display of a monitor and then I just hook up my laptop. So the problem is the height of the laptop isn't the same as the monitor itself. So you kind of tend of hunching from side to side or from time to time. So with the ScreenPad Plus, of course your main display is now is the laptop plus the secondary ScreenPad Plus. Your attention is much better in terms of overall multitasking. Okay, guys, to give you a heads up, there are three items or three things that I was able to notice here on the ZenBook Duo as compared to the ZenBook Pro Duo. Three small items that it's more of a nitty gritty for me, but I was able to um, adjust to it in after a week or so in using the ZenBook Duo. So one is the arrow keys, up, down, left, right, of course, but the shift and question mark are in between the up key. So... The shift is also very narrow as compared to other laptops with a very wide press button for the shift button. Number two, the top trackpad itself is a little bit smaller as compared to the 15.6 inch. It's very understandable but here as you can see the left and right click for the touchpad is actually physical buttons now as compared to the previous touchpads of the ZenBook, 5, uh, Zenbook Pro Duo or other laptops where the whole trackpad actually is the click button for left and right. So you have here dedicated buttons. I just wish Asus was able to maintain the full touchpad with an invisible button for the left and right click. And lastly, for the third, a uh, little bit annoyance for me is actually the USB Type-C port on the right side is actually not compatible for HDMI out. So you have to use the included HDMI port to use an HDMI connection or display out. You can't use any H USB Type-C connection here to charge or also use an adapter to also display out. So it can only just accommodate data in terms of us using a Type-C hub. So other functions right now like LAN, Ethernet port, it's okay. Additional extra storage, it's okay. But for display out and um, power distribution, this uh, PD charging, it's not possible in this one. So I'm I'm a little bit disappointed because coming from a MacBook Pro 13 user, I changed to the ZenBook Duo. I was hoping that the USB Type C port here could have at least charged this laptop as well because. I have three PD chargers and it's quite useful that if you can use those here on this laptop as well since USB Type-C is actually supposed to be meant to be universal as well. So aside from those three, I like everything about the ZenBook Duo. In terms of performance, a Core i7 10th generation processor paired with the 16GB RAM is actually great for multitasking. I didn't see any in terms of lag in the multitasking especially with the two screens. Guys, heads up, the last video I posted about the ZenBook 14 with the ScreenPad 2.0 that was running in a Core i5 processor with an MX250 graphics, it kind of made the laptop slow because the extended display on the ScreenPad 2.0 was consuming a lot of RAM. So, but this in, since this one is actually 16 gigabytes of RAM, it was able to handle flawlessly most applications right now that I'm using. Excel, Word, Outlook, most of the applications for work, social media communications, everything's open, a ton of tabs for Chrome, multiple Chrome tabs or multiple Chrome windows as well. Include that to the side are sl slight or a little bit heavy in terms of Photoshop and of course video editing. Everything was handled properly and I didn't see any huge thermal disadvantages as well because the thermal management for the ZenBook Duo is actually spectacular. Aside from that, you might notice the Ergolift hinge is also included here. But I wish that they were able to raise the display a little bit higher because of the screen pad. Plus, unlike with the ZenBook Pro Duo, the 15-inch version has an origami style stand at the back. And unlike here, you're depending on the overall lift of the hinge itself. Also in the package, there's no pen stylus for the ScreenPad Plus and you can notice the display at the main display right now is actually matte display now. So no more OLED, no more touchscreen, 
but you're here with a matte display. It's also Pantone calibrated, so it's really good for content creators. The only touchscreen here will be the screen pad plus. So aside from that, you still have the same IR blaster for the Windows Hello, so it's much faster in terms of login in, and you can also use it during the night. So overall ergonomics when typing is actually a little bit, I should say, it will take some time for you to adjust, especially that your palms are not resting on the laptop itself. You have to adjust yourself to the keyboard layout. It's a little bit different. You have two dedicated tabs or buttons for activating the screen pad or switching applications. And there's no numpad right now or the option to activate a numpad within embedded within the touchpad. So coming from the ZenBook Pro Duo to ZenBook Duo, the from 15 inch to 14 inch is actually not a lot of sacrifices since the, almost everything, the aesthetics, is almost the same. But in terms of overall performance, this fits my needs more. And also portability for 1.5 kilograms. It's also quite light for 1.5 kilograms and it's very thin as well. You still have the same body that's made of aluminum from the top from bottom as well. They did made some cut corners as the top panel here is just made of plastic as compared to the 15 inch it's made of pure metal but it's something that is very acceptable at this price point as well okay guys if you're wondering how much is the zenbook duo right now it's actually a lot cheaper than the more expensive zenbook pro duo this starts at 75,000 pesos or particularly 74,995 pesos but if you are interested for the more expensive variant, this is actually the Core i7 variant, 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage for 84,995 pesos. So the latter was actually a Core i5 variant, still 10th generation, and with an 5 12 gigabytes of storage. So if you're interested in getting a ZenBook Duo, I suggest you get one this holiday season. They're actually pairing the two configurations, even the more expensive ZenBook Pro Duo with the Creative Bundle. It means you get a Fujifilm Instax Leap Play worth 9,999 pesos and a Nero's backpack worth 2,995 plus their limited edition ASUS 30th edition special care package. That's worth actually 6,000 pesos. So guys, if you add that total value, you have around 18,000 pesos in overall freebies in getting this laptop alone. Guys, for 85,000 pesos, this is my, currently my main driver laptop right now. I was able to do a lot of more multitasking. I got a lot of impressions because of the dual screen. At the same time, I was able to watch some videos at the time of working like Kaderang Ginto or the YouTube videos. It's actually really nice that you have here for work, you have design for play, you can navigate files while here is your main work. So I was able to juggle a lot of applications really easily. So aside from that, yeah, the ZenBook Pro Duo, it's really fast. The Screen Pad Plus is actually a good multitasking feature for you to explore. If you're more into the creative side of editing videos, editing photos, if, or maybe in the future, actually I want to venture in is actually testing this out in terms of virtual DJ or doing DJ applications because it's one thing that I'm venturing right now. So who knows, your music can be here and then your whole DJ system can be here. It's something really good to check out and I'll check that out in the future. Speaking of uh, DJ, I'll just say, Give a quick shout out the speakers of this one is actually really nice the harmon cardon speakers gives full sound stage that's actually pretty decent so in my impressions nothing beats the macbook pro but this comes a little bit closer now as compared to before so that's it guys thank you so much for joining our video for the zenbook duo unboxing and impressions right now and thank you so much for joining our recent video of the fc compact giveaway so for the winner of the fc compact congratulations to our winner your name is actually on the description link below so guys thank you so much for joining our first impression actually 
the initial impression for the Zenbook Duo, I'll be testing out this laptop even more in the upcoming days and, and also to compare this to with other laptops in my previous experience as well. So that's it guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our social media channels and I'll see you next video.